If mobility is hindered, primarily you're going to have lives at risk. Mission completion can be jeopardized. You can extend timelines and ultimately you're not going to meet your mission objectives if we can't get to where we need to go. We can predict mobility in several ways. Most obviously we can have a look at the weather, we can look at the geographical situation. What we are doing with our NATO task group is to bring it to the next level and also interpolate by digital tools the way that our vehicles will behave in a certain environment. The advantage to NATO is that now it is possible for the different countries to be able to consistently compare the capability of their vehicles to the capabilities of other vehicle systems that are deployed at the same time. This capability is significant. It goes far beyond what we have right now, which is maps. NGNRMM will enable military decision makers, agencies involved in acquisition processes, as well as the warfighter to obtain the most accurate and precise prediction, which is as close to reality as it can get. This really is the culmination of multiple years of work in order to provide a strong set of standards to propel NATO into the future and improve interoperability of our ground systems for the long haul.